Now you may notice that this integral has no limits of integration. There's no a, there's no b. It's just integral sine of 3x squared dx. That's because we're not actually taking an integral here. We have to find the antiderivative of 3x squared. Now the question is, what is an antiderivative? Well, mathematicians are the least creative people in the world in creating names. An antiderivative is exactly what it might sound like. It's the opposite of a derivative. So, what this problem is asking us is, the derivative of what is 3x squared? That's what an antiderivative is. We're going to go up the ladder of derivatives instead of down the ladder of derivatives. So, for example, if we said, what's the derivative of 3x squared? Well, the answer would be 6x. But that's not what this is asking. It's asking us for the antiderivative. We want to go up the ladder. So the antiderivative of 3x squared is what function, when you take the derivative of it, will give you 3x squared? Well, with a little bit of thinking, we know the derivative of what gives you x squared? Well, that means that our exponent has to be 1 higher Let's try x cubed. Well, what's the derivative of x cubed? The well, derivative of x cubed is, in fact, 3x squared. Hey, we found our answer. The answer is x cubed. But that's not all there is to it. Well, here's why. The answer could be x cubed, or it could be x cubed plus 1 because the derivative of a constant is 0. The derivative of x cubed plus 1 is still 3x squared plus 0. That's still just 3x squared. We could have x cubed plus 2 or x cubed plus 100,000. I don't know. Or x cubed minus pi because the derivative of pi is still zero. In fact, even between x cubed plus one and x cubed plus two, there are an infinite number of different possible functions that could represent the antiderivative of 3x squared, and this is why we call the antiderivative of 3x squared a family of antiderivatives. We're looking at a family of antiderivatives. That family is x cubed plus capital C, x cubed plus C. This C notes that we can add any constant to x cubed, be it negative 5, negative e, pi, 3.892657. C can be anything. It could be 0. Who knows? Because the derivative of a constant is 0. So, the family of antiderivatives of 3x squared is given by x cubed plus c. If you want to graph this, you'll note that here lies the family of antiderivatives. x cubed plus 1 is right here. Here's x cubed plus 2, x cubed plus 3. This goes on forever. Every single one of these functions, when you take the derivative of it, will give you 3x squared. And that is why the antiderivative of 3x squared is a family x cubed plus c.